Australian-born Princess Mary is set to become Queen of Denmark after the shock abdication of the world's longest-serving monarch, Queen Margaret, after 52 years on the throne. Now, this news seems to have come out of nowhere, but there is some speculation that it's happened to cover up a recent cheating scandal surrounding Prince Frederick. Do you think there's any truth to that? Well, certainly the timing is a little suspicious, I would say. But Queen Margreta has served for 52 years. I mean, it was, a, it was a shock announcement on her New Year's Eve address to the nation. And she will be stepping down very, very quickly. And just in two weeks, Prince Frederick, Crown Prince Frederick and uh, Princess Mary will become the new King and Queen of Denmark. And just recently, as back as October, Prince Frederick was involved in a sort of allegations and affair with a Mexican socialite Genevieve Casanova. The royal family didn't comment on the allegations, but there was certainly a frostiness in the air when uh, Princess Mary and uh, Prince Frederick were together. However, it looks like all of that has been pushed to the side. Uh, certainly, preparations were were, were in the, in the background when the, their son was made to sign a declaration to say that he would sort of support the royal family in the future. And now it has all come to a head. So you know, in two weeks, you've uh, you've got to, Australia's got their first queen and um and uh, she has been really taken by the danish people learning the language doing lots of charity work and i think it's a sort of a, a, a big show of support for um for princess mary oh look it's it's really exciting but if they think that it's taken the attention off the cheating rumors well here we are discussing it so i don't know if that tactic will have worked but look the danish royal family might not get as much media attention as your british royal family does but that doesn't mean it's without its scandals we've already heard about this cheating one but what were some of the the big moments of queen margaret's reign well, I think you look at the sort of the relationship between uh, the Danish royal family and the British royal family. There was some sh huge, huge similarities. You know, the, whenever uh, uh, Queen Margareta would come over, she was warmly welcomed by uh, Queen Elizabeth. There was a lot of similarity. She then became the oldest um, monarch in Europe when uh, when Queen Elizabeth died. And uh, it, there is the sort of um, the nature of uh, of her, her job, of course, doing lots of charity work, sort of doing lots of things with the armed forces. She was seen in a jumpsuit only uh, a couple of years ago with uh, with the Danish royal forces, and I think that that was really um, the similarities with uh, with uh, Queen Elizabeth and her own uh, armed forces service as well, where it shone, shone brightly throughout her whole reign. It wasn't that long ago that we saw King Charles's coronation, of course, and Prince Frederick and Princess Mary's coronation is expected to lack some of the same pomp and pageantry. What do we know about how this day will unfold? Well, I think, surprisingly, I don't think it's going to be as huge as sort of uh, anyone has expected. They're pretty low key. You know, Princess Mary had come over. She so didn't know the, the language. It was, uh, it was sort of a fledgling relate long term, um, long distance relationship with Prince Frederick. And then certainly when she, she got involved in the language, went to university, studied it, speaks fluently, lots and lots of charity work. But a lot of it flies under the radar. And I think that, that is what has really endeared the couple to the nation. So I do think it will be, you know, the bit of, a bit of pomp and pageantry, of course, as we expect from royalty, but uh, it will certainly not be as big. And, uh, and I think that that's in keeping with the you know, cost of living crisis that's going on with for all of us at the moment. Um, but, you know, I think the, 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 the Danish people have really taken them to heart and, uh, and will sort of wish Queen Margreta farewell, but uh, bring in a new era as well. Well, I hope there's a little bit of pomp and pageantry because, as you say, we haven't had an Aussie queen before. So no doubt a lot of us will be watching. Russell Myers, thank you.